Vehicle made in 1904, and I've been having fun playing with the horn here. It's like a amplified whoopee cushion. I mean, a lot of things were different back in 1904. Not only the horns, of course, clearly the engines. And that's what this event is all about. Engines exposed. This is Matt Anderson from the Henry Ford Museum. And, uh, and Matt, tell us what we're looking at here because this looks uh, this looks very different. Yeah, this is a 1904 Packard Model L, which was cutting edge technology for the time. This is an engine with four cylinders rather than one or two. It's 22 horsepower rather than five or six. And for the first time or for an early, early version here, the engine is out under the hood rather than underneath the seat where a lot of American cars were still putting the engines at this time. I had no idea. So engines used to be under the seat of the driver. That seems like a pretty hot ride. Uh, it could get a little warm. It could get noisy. It could be a little uh, shaky too with all the vibrations. So this was obviously a much better way to go and it wasn't long before other car makers followed suit. Yeah, it's really neat. It looks so just kind of clean and simple. You can see all the parts definitely very different than cars today. But it's interesting because if we move just to the next car, the Overland Model 90B, which is here, it is from 1918. So about 15, 16 years later. And yet what's under this hood looks so different. Yeah, we're looking at an engine that's a little more powerful now, still four cylinder, but obviously far more sophisticated. The cylinders are cast as a single piece rather than in separate units. It's also got an electric starter, so you don't have to get out and crank it like you would have had to with a oh. Packard. Oh, okay. And something else I'm noticing too is that the, the steering wheels are in different sides of the vehicles because that didn't used to be regulated. Yeah, there was really no standard until about 19 or 10 or so. You know, it was just luck whether you find on the driver's side or what we'd call the passenger side today. Okay, you just kind of whatever whatever car you chose. So this is interesting, and you guys not only are there cars, as we um, we can loop around the corner and show you, uh, there was an electric bicycle. I thought electric bikes. I was been at the auto show all week, where there are motorized bikes, motorized ways of travel. I thought that was new technology, but apparently not. I'm standing here at Engines Exposed here at the Henry Ford Museum looking at an electric trike. Yeah, this is an 1896 electric vehicle built by Andrew Riker and uh, yeah, three wheels. The motor's actually mounted right under that rear wheel, but having just one wheel in the back simplifies things. You don't need a differential and uh, of course you only need three tires rather than four, so it worked. It's kind of a backwards based on what we normally think of nowadays. A trike usually it's one wheel in the front, two in the back. They did things a little differently, but a motor plus, were there pedals? No. Uh, no pedals. No, there'd be 20 batteries located under the seat there. So uh, it would have um, probably not had very good range, not particularly high speed, but it worked. It was a prototype. Yeah, that's really neat. All of the things we think were new actually were invented a long time ago. That's really neat. So that's 1896 Riker. So what time does the event begin? When can people come and see all these engines exposed? Yeah. Museums open every day from 930 to 5 and engines exposed will run through February 28th. And you've got more than 70 people can come take a look at. Yeah, more than 70 cars have their hoods open. We've got special programs throughout the day. A lot of great stuff. Fantastic. And Matt has actually created this guide where he has highlighted some of his favorites, some of the vehicles he thinks really stand out as as being unique or markers throughout the time so you can take his guide kind of do a little hunt a little search throughout the museum to see if you can find those special vehicles i'll be exploring it all morning long in the meantime i'll toss it back to you